Well, Sirolimus uh, is a new drug, it's a new concept, like the presentation I had today on, in the DCB. Uh, Paclitaxel has been tested and used in the last uh, 12 years. Uh, now we, we need a new drug, uh, which is Sirolimus or any other Limus drugs related to this class of drugs. And the need for it uh, is that uh, Paclitaxel, uh, not all DCB saluting this, dr this, this drug, are uh, effective on the long term. We have seen some bad signals in the periphery with some older generation Paclitaxel coded devices. So, uh, Sirolimus has a, a, a wider therapeutic range is, if compared to Paclitaxel. And uh, what is difficult with this drug is that uh, you have to deliver it uh, with an excipient that will help you to maintain the drug in the vessel wall for at least one month. It works just like any other drug coated balloon. The difference uh, is related to the pharmacodynamic properties of the drug, because you deliver it and you have to use an excipient and nanotechnology like for the concept medical one in order to maintain it there. Uh, how does it work? Uh, it is an anti restenotic drug and uh, differently from Paclitaxel, it is also an anti-inflammatory drug. Today, there are no uh, any direct comparison between Sirolimus and uh, Paclitaxel. We only have one small study uh, in the ISR setting with one device. Um, we will have some data, probably during Europe ECR, uh, we will present the SIRPAC study, which is the first large-scale 1,000 patient comparison between Sirolimus and Paclitaxel. Uh, so now we only have indirect comparison between these two drugs. We use it in around 40% of our PCIs. Uh, they are the first choice in a small vessel disease, PCI, for example, vessels which are uh, up to trio, uh, long lesions. And we use it a, lo uh, a lot also in complex settings, um, for example, very long lesions when we want to avoid the paving with stents of the entire coronary artery. So we may decide to put a stent in the proximal part of the lesion and then a drug coated balloon in the distal part. This is our preferred strategy. Well, now we need randomized clinical trials of comparison with DES and also with a best in class PCB, which means Paclitaxel cell coated balloons. We don't have this data yet. We are going to start with a couple of studies on it uh, with a concept medical magic touch device. But uh, we need this data because we have just seen in single arm registries or in large registries with clinical endpoints, how they are working, but we need a comparison to the best-in-class devices that we have.